I've seen in somebody else's house that instead of having this mat, this half moon shape here mat here, they've got an inlaid mat which goes across here, um, completely covering this whole area. Hello, sorry I'm looking a bit rough today but I haven't put any makeup on or done my hair. I thought I had this crazy idea this weekend that I'd do DIY. I get stupid ideas like this quite often where I will see something and then I really want to do it at my house. So today's project is going to be a uh, an inlaid mat for the front door. So I'll show you what we've got already. So this is my front door. It's very sunny, sorry. Can't really see very well. So that's my front door where we come in. And then next to it, we've got a shoe cabinet where I keep all the shoes and little doors, some bits and bobs that we need going out. Um, got some pictures on there and another picture there. That door there is to the uh, downstairs bathroom. And as you can see at the moment, I've got just got this half moon shaped mat. So that's my front door mat at the moment. And as you can imagine, having three boys. Even though we've got the doormat out here, um, the floor gets completely, oops, the floor gets completely covered in mud and things, especially from the buggy, because this is where we keep the buggy, just here in the hall. So when I come in, I pull it backwards over the door, and then I pull, pull it round and park it here. So the floor gets pretty muddy around here, and the shoes go here, and the children come over here to take their shoes off. So it does get pretty muddy. So I've seen in somebody else's house that instead of having this mat, this half moon shape here mat here, they've got an inlaid mat which goes across here, um, completely covering this whole area. So that when the buggy comes in or the shoes come in, um, it just leaves it on that mat. And then obviously they quite frequently hoover that mat and clean that mat up. So that's my plan. So what have I got to help with it? Um, Oh, this is another thing I bought from Ikea. It's like a boot tray to keep your boots on. So I'm not sure whether to keep it outside on the porch or whether to put it down here once I've got the mat in. But we'll see. So I've bought the carpet. I bought the carpet off eBay. I'll just show you. Um, it's just like a standard doorway matting. You can see that. Quite a heavy duty matting. I've also bought the trim which I'm going to use to trim between the wooden floor and the matting so this is the join um, strip I don't really, floor threshold so join any two floor types of same or different height so I don't think the carpet on the wood laminate will match so hopefully this will do the job and it's pretty close match if you look to our existing floor it's not too far off so as you can see there's another like there's leaves and all sorts that come in the house and dirt and I only mopped this floor yesterday and already it's filthy again um so hopefully <coughs> that will match my plan first is to cut away so cut a line across the flooring and just take up all that wood flooring I've got this tool which I bought a good few years ago when we when I did the flooring into the house so and I've got a new blade on it, so hopefully I can sort of chop. I'm going to draw a line and chop across there and remove that flooring first. Then the next plan is to use this carpet tape to stick the carpet. Well, I'll have to cut the carpet and stick the carpet down. And then hopefully put this threshold in and that'll be job done. But we shall see whether... I can pull it off or not. I do like having a go at things, so let's give it a try. So at this point, I started doing a time-lapse video of what I was doing so that you'd be able to see from start to finish the project. Unfortunately, I hadn't realised that by the time I had finished cutting across, the camera actually stopped filming. So I'll just talk you through what I did. I did cut the floorboards across and then I took up one of the middle ones so that I could take up the edging ones. The very edge ones got quite stuck so I got my husband to help me with pulling those out. We did move the shoe cabinet out of the way so that I could get them out properly. 
because as you can see the legs of the shoe cabinet were resting on the floor. Once I'd done that I hoovered up the area because it was quite dusty underneath, measured out my piece of carpet so that I knew it was going to fit exactly. I then put the strip down in between the two levels. Yeah, the strip had two parts, a bottom and top, so I put the bottom part down, I put the, stuck the carpet down and then put the strip back so that the join was invisible or um, the strip went between the carpet and the floor. So I'll just show you a couple of photographs here. So this is the start before I started and that's the finish there with the carpet. I'm really pleased with the way the project went and it has definitely helped with the mess.